Well, hello. Uh, today we're going to set up SE Linux on our AWS instance. So uh, the first thing we want to do, well, let's history-c so that we can clear our history and I can just show it at the end. I'm going to sudo vi etsy sysconfig se linux and you need to change disabled to be enforcing and be very careful how you type this because you can mess things up um, cause things to break i think you can break your system um, and then you also have to sudo touch forward slash dot auto relabel Uh, by the way, we can check get enforce. It's not enforcing. If we tried to sudo set enforce to one, it's going to say it's disabled and get. Yeah, you can't do it. So we have to enable it first. So now we need to reboot. Sudo reboot. And we're going to have to wait a little bit because not only does it have to um, reboot. It has to make sure SE Linux is on and auto relabel. So, uh, auto relabel is going through the system, looking at the files, and making sure they're labeled correctly. Think of it that way. Um, so, is this file secret, top secret? Um, is it private? Is it public? Um, what What are the things that needs to be? Even though it's it's private, who should be? What are the specific processes that should be able to to see it? That's, that's what's going on. So it takes a little while. Uh, probably on a system that's small, it, so rebooting's a minute or two, add another minute or two. Um, on a big system, it can take longer because uh, it has to look through all the files. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what SE Linux is then. So SE Linux is an implementation of mandatory access control. Um, I should actually link to a cool page I like about it. I've, I've talked about it in other videos. Um, mandatory access control is a, a way of um, making sure that people only have what they should have. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to do security, uh, but uh, mandatory access control is this uh, is what SE Linux enforces. If you don't use SE Linux, then you're mostly using role-based access control or um, discretionary access control. Because if a user creates a file, they can actually give that access to others. Uh, so there's role-based, but there's also discretionary. Um, okay, so just for kicks, let's see if it's up. I doubt it, but we'll give it a trot shot. Um, and it is, that's pretty good. So now if I do get enforce, we can see it's enforcing. I can do sudo um, set and force to zero and it'll be into permissive. Sweet. Um, now, even in if something stops, it's it's enforcing. Permissive is kind of like just saying, hey, don't do that. You're doing something that I it's just logging it. It's just logging it. Enforcing stops it. Um, with that being said, I have seen things where logging causes it to break. I don't know why, um, but we did have to disable SE Linux occasionally, rarely, for things to run until we could figure out other issues. Um, that's been a long time ago. Hopefully, we don't have those issues anymore. Um, but we can sudo set and force and just leave it blank and it'll give us the usage options. And not only can we use zero and one, but we can also say, use the term enforcing um, and get enforce is there, sweet. So we set up um, SE Linux and we've got it enforcing. Let's now do one more thing. I love this program called audit to allow. So uh, even though it always does it wrong, um, sudo, uh, and I'm gonna do yum provides 
audit to allow. So it'll tell me what it is that provides that utility. And it's this core uh, policy core utils Python. So sudo yum dash y install. So that, by the way, if you don't know the commands I'm typing in, please pause the video, look it up. I've covered them in prior videos, but uh, so I'm not going to cover them each and every time. Since I'm pausing with this one, I, I will cover it. Sudo, of course, switch user do. Yum is a way to install things on Red Hatish type systems. It's being replaced by DNF, I believe. Uh, dash Y says, don't ask me, just install it. Use the at the end. It says, are you sure you want to install this? Install, telling it to install policy, policy for utils to Python, what it's looking for. Okay. So control C. Cool. Um, now we could do um, audit. D-U-D-I-T to allow dash A dash W and we're going to pipe it to a more so it doesn't spin by too quick. Oh, sudo. <laughs> and we can see that, yeah, there are th there is something still here going on. It's saying, hey, something going on. You might need to uh, generate a loadable module. Anyway, um, we'll get to that more in the next video. Have a good one.